Hi friends, welcome to a new video in the new year. I know it's been a while since I have posted a video. My apologies. I wasn't sure what I wanted to post because I feel like for me personally, I really like making the vlog style content and I just felt like my life lately hasn't been worth documenting, which isn't true by the way because there is so much beauty in the mundane. But today, I wanted to do something a little different and do a January favorites haul. I found some things that I really loved this January that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get started into the video, shall we? Friends, let's see. I want to make sure my hair looks nice and pretty for you guys. Okay, now that I am all focused and ready. Okay, so a few categories that I wanted to mention for my favorites. We have skincare, hair care, fashion, accessories, shoes, and books. So, I'm really excited. These are all products that I have just absolutely devoured in January. Solid 11 out of 10 that I really could not recommend enough. So I first wanted to start with hair care. So hair care is something that I have been learning a lot more and putting a lot more attention into the past couple weeks because I really realized how important it is, especially because I'm a girl who bleached my hair a lot before and so my hair's really damaged from it now and I actually care now I don't care just about how light my hair will be I care about the integrity of my health and that and like just overall well-being of my hair so these two products I absolutely adored the they are both from Amika um so it's ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so it's these two products right here. The first is the Amika the Wizard Detangling Primer. It also acts as a heat protectant for up to 450 degrees. Love this guy. My hair gets so knotted so easily. I don't know if it's because I have more thin hair now, but it gets really knotted, especially after the shower. And I use this right after and brush my hair out and it gets all the tangles out. And it's nice because you can use it dry as well on, dr on dry hair. So if I use any heat, um, before I like to go in with this and then the second one is actually game-changing it is the Amika reset pink charcoal cleansing oil oh my gosh I'm not kidding my hair it would like absorb so much oil so fast and I would have to wash it really quickly like day after day and you know that's not good for your hair right and I got this and you put it on like about 10 minutes before you shower. It's an oil and then you like massage it into your scalp and then it foams with water. It does wonders. I can go like a full week without washing my hair and it still feel clean because of this. And if you use a lot of dry shampoo, this is even better because it gets rid of all the buildup. 10 out of 10. Like I, if I could only bring one hair care product with me, I would bring this. It's just absolutely amazing. So next we have skincare and my two skincare faves, they were both gifted to me. I do want to disclose that. Um, this one is from the In Beauty Project. It's their Green Machine Skin Transforming Oil Jelly Serum. Oh my gosh. So also I'm getting more in tuned in skincare as well. And I used to just do a face, a face cleanse and a moisturizer and call it a day. But the older I get, I realize how much I want to keep my healthy, youthful skin. And this is amazing for that. The texture. Well, let me show you the color. So this is the color. It's green. And it has, um, it's infused with 15 super greens, vitamin C, and 250,000 plant stem cells. And the look is to give you clear, healthy, and vibrant skin. And it keeps away congested, dehydrated, and tired skin. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend this enough. I usually do this, depending on how my skin is feeling, I'll do it morning and night. If not, I'll just do it at night. I love this serum, it's amazing. And it's affordable, which is amazing. I think it's around like $20 and it's at Sephora. So I, t I recommend this as well. This one's a little bit more of an investment, but this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Oh my gosh, literally the most luxurious and best moisturizer I think I've ever used in my life. It's so good. If you have dry skin, I recommend, but it really makes your skin look like that Korean glass, you know, that look I'm talking about. Absolutely amazing. I love, love, love this cream. 
Once again, a solid 10 out of 10. Next, oh, oh my gosh, one more thing that I wanted to mention in the skincare. But um, this, I don't know if this really counts as skincare, but I just love this lotion and I wanted to give it a shout out. It's the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, herbal Body Moisturizer. I got my boyfriend on this. <laughs> and because we live together right now. And he like absolutely loves the smell of this moisturizer and how hydrated it makes him feel because he has really, really dry hands. I use this after every shower. I smell good and I feel really hydrated on my skin. It's really dry in Washington right now and cold. So this has been amazing. And I got this bottle in like, I want to say in like September, honestly, maybe even August, I might have gotten this bottle. And I use it almost every day and I'm still not through. So it's, I think when I got it, it was about $26. So worth every ounce. I recommend this as well. Okay, next we have the fashion aspect, which the pieces that I'm showing right now, they not they might not be that exciting, but I think that they have been like my go-to staples, which I think recently I've been gravitating more towards staples because I realize you get so much more use out of it than a, like a one-trick pony, a trend kind of piece, um, which, you know, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, like I absolutely love those pieces as well, but I'm trying to be more like smarter about my finances. So I've been trying to lean more into staple pieces and these are my staple pieces. So I have three items I wanted to show you. It is this white mock neck cropped long sleeve from, ooh, sorry, she's a little dirty, um, from Princess Polly. I always get questions about where this is from as well and it's from Princess Polly. I love this. I have used this so much during the winter time. It's actually not funny. Um, a, it's an extra layer to keep you warm. And B, that kind of like the layering look is so in for winter. So I love this guy. It fits great. It has not shrunk at all either. And I've washed it a couple times too. I don't know if I'm going to put that burp in there. <laughs> but um, this has been an amazing, amazing staple that I've loved. And then I've also really liked these bralettes from Airy. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. Um, I have four and the other two are dirty. The other two are dirty right now, so I didn't want to show them on camera, but I just washed these ones. Um, it's these bralettes. And I just love airy bralettes. They are so comfortable. I'm very against wearing any wired bras anymore because gosh, when I was like, well, I used to feel like I have to because I have a smaller chest, you know? But I really embrace that, like having a smaller chest and I wear a lot of bralettes now. So much more comfortable. These I usually get for like $23 because they're usually 40% off when I go in. And I also have this one, this tan nude color and I like the back detail as well. And I am wearing, I do have this one on as well. This one's not from Aerie, but this one's from Aritzia. Um, this one is a little bit more like an actual top instead of a bralette, but I wanted to showcase it because I've been really loving this as well. The quality is a little bit better than the Aerie one. You do pay more for it though, so I mean, it does make sense. But regardless, I just, I think like bralettes have really come in clutch this whole month of January. So those were the fashion pieces. I don't know if I'm talking too fast. I think it's okay. Honestly, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so next is shoes. And if you follow me on TikTok, which if you don't, you should, um, I will definitely link all the socials down below for you. But these babies, I love Converse so much. I've had Converse since I was in like seventh grade. And I was, I don't even know how old I was. But now I am in... 15th grade, I think. Yeah, I'm a junior um, in college. So that was eight years ago. Oh, so good. And I recently got the platform Converse because I literally set an alarm on my phone for the day that they were released. It was like December 27th at 7 a.m. or something, 6 a.m. I think. Um, and so I got them. I've been wearing them all of January. They literally just go with everything. And so these are my freaking babies. I love these. And then these shoes I just got in the mail today. These were gifted to me by Dolce Vita. And if you know me, I really just have black shoes. Hence the black Converse, which I love. Don't get me wrong. 
but because I got gifted these shoes from Dolce Vita, I decided to go a little bit more out of my comfort zone and I got colorful heels. And I had to include them in today's video because I just think they're so cute. It is these heels right here. They fit really good too. I'm a seven and a half and I got a size seven and they're the perfect size. I just love this pistachio color. I think because I have a lot more neutrals in my closet now too, it'll be really easy to dress these up and have like a pop of color in an outfit to really make you stand out. And they're very comfortable heels too. Not too tall, but tall enough to give you a little bit, like elongate your legs a little bit, especially if you're a little shorty like me. So I recommend these guys for sure. And then the last, or second to last is accessories. And for my accessories, I mean, I wear the same accessories all the time, but that's because my boyfriend gives them to me. And so they just, they mean, they're very sentimental to me, but they're like jewelry accessories. I wanted to show a bag and this one is from Lululemon. It's their like crossbody bag it has, oh my gosh, this has been just absolutely wonderful to wear and use. It has a lot of room. It has a lot of room inside. If you can see, this is this is just hand sanitizer. Um, so it has some mesh pocketing. We have the back mesh pocketing, which hold a tampon. And then the other side, it has like two divots. So they're also mesh pocketing, including a back zipper as well. So there's a lot of space in this bag and you can adjust how tall or short you want the bag to sit on your body. Um, but this has been absolutely amazing for the month of January. And then the other side, it has like two divots. So they're also mesh pocketing, including a back zipper as well. So there's a lot of space in this bag and you can adjust how tall or short you want the bag to sit on your body. Um, but this has been absolutely amazing for the month of January. Okay. And then my friends, the last one, probably my favorites out of today's favorites video is the books. Oh my gosh. So when I was a kid, I used to love reading so much and I kind of fell out of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, once reading became more like assigned and more of a homework task, you know, but this year I'm really determined to at least try to read 50 books. Um, because I miss reading for like leisure and fun. These two books definitely helped me get there. Oh my gosh, I think I finished this book in two days and this book in two days. They were amazing, amazing reads. So this is Verity by Colleen Hoover. They're both psychological thrillers, by the way. This is Verity by Colleen Hoover. An amazing, well-written book. The ending will leave you so jarred. I was so shocked. I could not believe it. It literally had me reading until the very last page and I was like, I can't believe it's over. Um, what I would do to get, read this book again without knowing anything. The Okay, so for the plot, by the way, it's about Loan, who is a struggling writer. She meets, let me read that. I forgot that man's name already, Jeremy Crawford. Um, and she basically finishes the series that his wife, Jeremy Crawford's wife was um, writing because she was a very successful author of this really long series. And she has to go to the house and retrieve the old manuscripts that her wife, that his wife had, which she was no longer in the state of mind to do it because she was in a really bad accident. Um, this book is probably, I think, the best book I've ever read in my life. It just, it, I'm not kidding, guys. This was just absolutely amazing. Colleen Hoover, she is such a well-written author. I really, really enjoyed this read. I recommend to anybody, especially even if you don't like reading, I think you would like this because it's so fast paced and you won't be able to put, put and you won't be able to put the book down. I'm just so excited. The next book is The Silent Patient. His writing was also very, very good. It was the kind of writing that keeps you on the edge of your seat. The second half of the book, or actually honestly, the second or the last fourth of the book. Oh my gosh. When I tell you my jaw dropped everything the way he strung everything to connect together and the relationship between the two main characters was so intriguing and i genuinely i have like goosebumps right now i have goosebumps because it was 
an amazing read. This author was also very well written and I would also recommend this book if you're trying to get back into reading again because it was just a very interesting plot. Literally so, 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 so good. That is it for my favorites, my January favorites video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I got so excited talking about all these products again because I just loved every single thing that I used this month. Um, if you guys want more of these favorite videos, please let me know. As you guys may, some of you may know if you're from my other social platforms, but I'm going to Rome in March and so I will be vlogging everything on here the packing the traveling the flying just everything will be on here so if you want to please make sure to stay tuned for that upcoming series coming up I'm really nervous but I'm really excited and then I think the next video that I want to make is tips for becoming a content creator um, because I've been thinking about it recently and I'm like I really wish I knew these facts before I got into it myself so let me know if that's something you want to see. And if not, let me know if there are any specific type of videos you'd like to see from me because this honestly has been a lot of fun and I really want to get into YouTube, especially because TikTok does not pay that well, which that's a conversation for another day. But thank you so much for watching me and hanging out with me. I appreciate your time and I am so glad that we got to hang out together. I love you. I hope you guys all have a great day. See you next time. Bye.